Our topic for today is about the fresh water at sea. How do sea water converts into fresh water? Of course, it is through distillation process. What is distillation process? Distillation is the process of boiling a liquid given off by heating to change its state from liquid to vapor and subsequently condense the vapor back into liquid form. How? By the use of the freshwater generator, or others called it freshwater evaporator. We have to boil the seawater inside the freshwater generator through the application of heat from the main engine jacket cooling water, which it has only around 80 degrees centigrade. And from that, it creates evaporation to steam and brings it to condense, and that turns into fresh water. Whoa, whoa, come again. You said at 80 degrees centigrade, you can boil the seawater? Hmm, I don't believe. Okay, okay, let me explain. Fresh water boils at 100 degrees centigrade with the atmospheric air pressure at 1.01 bar or 14.7 PSI or pounds per square inch. And perhaps the seawater will boil at around 103 or 105 degrees centigrade with same atmospheric air pressure of 1.01 bar because it is more denser than fresh water. Since seawater boils at 103 or 105 degrees centigrade, we have to lower down the temperature to compensate the main engine jacket cooling water temperature of 80 degrees centigrade. Well, di nga, but how? We have to lower the trap atmospheric air pressure inside the chamber. And that's what we call vacuum. As you decreases the pressure, it also decreases the temperature or the distilling temperature. Okay. Let me explain. Here we can see the uh, fresh water and sea water, how much the figure of the uh, temperature in boiling point. We have the 100 degrees centigrade for fresh water and we have 103 degrees centigrade for sea water with the atmospheric air pressure of 1.01 bar. But in our fresh water generator, our heating medium is only 80 degrees centigrade and we do not know how much pressure do we need to lower it down the sea water. So by just using the basic math cross multiplication, we have to multiply 1.01 to 80 and then divided by 103 degrees centigrade and we find the x. By cross multiplication, we found the x as 0 0.78 or 78%. Meaning to say, we needed to decrease the pressure inside the fresh water generator for as low as 78% or more, or 80% or 90 to 100%, just only to boil the seawater. Through this, we needed to do the application of the vacuum. This was already proven by Guy Lossack's theory under gas laws. At constant volume, as the pressure increases, the temperature also increases. As the pressure decreases, the temperature also decreases. There is a saying that the higher the altitude, the lower the temperature. Of course, that's because of lower pressure too. That is why in higher areas like Baguio City, it is much colder as well as in Mount Apo. So who created vacuum or who makes the vacuum? Through this device, ejector or eductor pipe, we created a vacuum. As we can see in the figure, by the use of the high pressure motive force, as we can see the figure that we reduces the diameter of the pipe. So converting the high pressure into high velocity, that is why we attract now the air or other liquid. So that is called vacuum. As the liquid flows through here with high velocity, of course, getting higher pressure, then it created vacuum. With this device called ejector or, or eductor pipe, this is what we need to lower the pressure inside the chamber as it lowers the temperature, just only to boil the seawater. 
Now you know. Sana all. There are two types of fresh water generator on board ships. We have the tube type and we have the plate type. So for the tube type, we can see here that we have the heater or evaporator, we have the deflector or the barrier, and we have the demister, which is the filter, and we have here the condenser. So same with the plate type evaporator that we have also here the heater or the evaporator here. We have the deflector or cover, this one, and we have the demister. We cannot find the demister here or the filter because it is attached with the cover. And we have here the condenser. Okay, Tara, let's let us start the fresh water generator. Okay, uh, we are now here at fresh water generator and we are using the Kongsberg simulator. So let's prepare first starting the system. We have to start first the ejector pump. And for this, we have to prepare first the valves. By just opening the suction and the overboard valve, then we can start the fresh water ejector pump. And of course, we have already the flow. So in preparation for this, we go with the condenser. Here at Kongsberg Simulator, uh, the cooling at the condenser is separated from our ejector pump. But on board the fresh water generator, the ejector pump is directly connected at our condenser and then goes into overboard. And now our ejector system is running, we can open this valve leading to our evaporator and we monitor first our vacuum. Okay, we find it here that our vacuum is working pretty good and the gauge shows it is still going down. We have just to wait until it reaches the maximum percentage of the vacuum. Since we have now a very good vacuum with more than 90%, we can now open our heating into our evaporator coming from our main engine fresh water cooling system and we can open the valve into our evaporator. We can find it here that we have two bypass connection. One is in auto mode, auto control, and one is set with already 25%. Since our evaporator is now boiling our seawater and the steam goes into the condenser, we can find it here that the vapor is passing through the cover and then goes into the demister. So we have here the wet saturated steam. As you can see, the cover is going down and the steam follows with the cover. So the heavier portion of the steam cannot go up and then it will goes into brine. So passing through the demister, the wet saturated become dry saturated, and this is now the lighter steam that goes into our condenser. That condensed this steam changes its state from gas into liquid, and now we are producing fresh water. And from here, we can start our distillate pump, and we just monitor with our salinometer. We have to set our salinometer. Of course, we have this alarm now as this is normal in starting. We have to move our set point higher at 10 ppm and wait till the alarm signal or ppm signal goes down. See, as the ppm signal is lower than the set point, the alarm goes off. Now we have to bring down our set point near to the PPM alarm just for monitoring purposes only for safety reason. Okay, in here, let us test the 10 PPM alarm if it is working. And we have this alarm. Now, everything is working good. We can set the SEC or salinity electronic control into alarm on for monitoring the salinity PPM of the system. So we can put this one in auto mode. Okay, uh, what we have here now is watch keeping. We are just only going to monitor 
our production. So on board, we are producing fresh water around 20 to 25 metric tons per day with same plate evaporator. So that is our production. And in here, in Kongsberg Simulator, the outlet of our distillate water is only going to a steam generation plant, which means this goes into the boiler. We have a branch out here at this area. There is a connection here going into the fresh water tank because we produce this water for our personal use, like cooking, taking shower, drinking, or whatever. So this one, it shows only going into the boiler. Since we are using the boiler, it needs fresh water. So coming from our fresh water generator, the lower PPM we produce is the better pH we have. Okay, so that's it guys. And if you have any comments or suggestion, please feel free to write down below. Okay, so just subscribe and ring my bell. Thank you and good day.